Hello everyone, an update here on last night's drone attack on the oil storage facility in Sevastopol, Crimea. As you can see in this video which has been shared online, the fire is now partially extinguished. Surprisingly, this was achieved quicker than I thought given the size of the blaze that we saw earlier. We also have this single drone screenshot showing the damage caused, and it looks pretty bad. It's looking like one of these two silos here is what got hit, and the rest of the damage to the facility is caused by the fire. And as you can see, it certainly did a number on these tanks, many of them are blackened and fire damaged. Here's a Google Maps image, so one of these two tanks is what was hit. Now while some of them are standing still, all of these tanks are interconnected. So I've seen it mentioned by some that this entire facility is now a write-off, even though some of the tanks are still standing, they'll have internal damage and that sort of thing. This oil storage facility is one which supplied the Black Sea Fleet, so we're going to have to wait and see if its loss will have an impact on operations from there. Russian sources said that four tanks were damaged, but on the screenshot from the drone here, we can clearly see that more than four were damaged. Two of them were completely destroyed. Now as to how many drones were used in the attack, it depends on the source. Some Russian telegram pages are claiming that 10 Mugin 5 drones were used and claim that 9 were shot down. Other sources say 2 drones were used with 1 of them down. Russia has provided a video, playing now, showing one which it claimed were downed nearby to the facility, near the facility. If true, this confirms the drone type as a Mugin 5 drone again. We've seen this type of drone used by Ukraine in the past. So that's it for this video, a short update but one I hope you found interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.